Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share the unboxing and first look of a new brother knife. This will be the model 1506. So before the end of uh, 2021 brother did release two more uh, traditional uh, folders. They will come like previous ones in this nice canvas bag. And they will come really nicely and completely soaked in oil, which you may probably know I, I really, really uh, dislike. So this is what you can expect if you are taking out the package. I kept it uh, like it came to show you. So let me give it a clean uh, wipe down and we will continue with this video. Okay, so here we go. So the 1506 is a Swebeck pattern locking uh, traditional gentleman's uh, pattern. And uh, if you know uh, my channel, if you are my subscriber, you know that I really uh, like uh, the GEC pattern 47, which is a uh, which is a wiper, uh, which is basically uh, this design or without the, the back lock. Okay, so let me give you the specifications. So we have a overall length of 16 centimeters, which is 6.3 uh, inches. We have a blade length of 7 centimeters or 2.7 inches with a cutting edge of 5.9 centimeters or 2.3 inches. Uh, the blade width is 1.5 centimeters or 0 0.6 inches. The blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches. The handle is 8.9 centimeters or 3.5 inches long uh, with a thickness of 1.1 uh, millimeter or 0 0.4 inches and a width of 2 centimeters or 0 0.8 inches. Materials used on this one, uh, so on the blade uh, we have unfortunately uh, stepped down from the VG10 or the two they are using uh, on this one 8CR 14MOV, don't know why they did cut back, maybe they have uh, supply issues, who knows, but uh, this is what you get with this really beautiful uh, Warncliffe style blade with the traditional setting uh, finish that the brother is using on all of his knives. The handle is carbon fiber with uh, stainless steel bolsters and stainless steel uh, liners. There is also a second option, unfortunately no micarta, micarta uh, but uh, you can uh, get it in a uh, jigged pattern bone. Uh, variant. Like I mentioned, this is a swayback pattern, uh, so the handle will be up swooped uh, slightly up to be more used in a pruning style uh, 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 tasks like, uh, like uh, pruning branches or maybe cutting some uh, some vegetables and so on. Uh, the period assembly it relies on copper washers and uh, opening method we have this uh, nice nail nick opener. The branding, as far as uh, all brother knives go, we have uh, a large brother logo, one knife, one life, described underneath uh, and the model number on the other side, blade steel designation. Uh, no linear hole, so that is also a difference from the Great District Artillery Model 47, uh, which has a, a linear hole right there. The weight comes at uh, 75 grams, that is 2.6 ounces for the bone one, and 68 grams or 2.4 ounces for the Kyber fiber one. 
overall this is the small to medium sized uh, knife you can see in my uh, large hands let me show you the cutting test so right out of the box this is scary sharp like a scalpel uh, they did a really nice sharpening on it uh, which how knife uh, supposed to come from the factory of course okay so now uh, let's go uh, to the part probably most of you are interested in and this is the size comparison so let me bring out the the first traditional uh, pattern they have released the clawfish um, let's call it uh, this is the Fifteen zero three. So fifteen zero three. Um, back then they have numbered them. Um, if you like to see the carbon fiber, it looks like they are using the same carbon fiber. Big difference, of course. Uh, this one is pinned, and the, here we have screws. So if you are a uh, handyman or uh, you have your tools then you can take down uh, these scales and uh, make your own one okay so, so probably the most uh, value knife here on the table is of course the Rough Rider uh, work knife which is a uh, well, I would like to say probably almost direct uh, iteration of a GEC Viper. Uh, it will cost you uh, a little bit less than than the 1506. The 1506 currently uh, is around uh, 67 dollars uh, MSRP. So usually they are always on discount. Uh, I will link you link down below so you can can get them around 35 to even sometimes less dollars of course uh, depending uh, plus shipping of course uh, so here's the difference between the work knife from a Friday then I have here the reserve the newest iteration of the swayback jack uh, the model uh, 9009 uh, also from Rough Rider. This will cost you a little bit more, but uh, you have more premium materials and my carta. The 1508 has almost a, a hog bill uh, style blade, but uh, Definitely, uh, if you like a non-locking uh, similar knife, then you can get this one. Okay, now let's continue with the Viper. Oh, sorry, it's Fabek Jack from Viper, which is a uh, limited edition or exclusive to collector knives. Let us continue with the Rustic Gent from uh, CVV, the Swan Wedge from Concept. Case Junior uh, Saltbuster Case Tribal Lock The Tucson Model TS one 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 CVV Elementum Small sheepdog from Kaiser. Q 
QSP Penguin. Benchmate a small Griptilian. The red uh, model 2. Spider Codelica. And let's do a couple more traditional knives. So here is the peanut pattern from Rough Rider. Texas Toothpick. Small Stockman. And let's close it down with the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so uh, let's conclude this video. So overall, I'm really happy that uh, uh, brother uh, did not uh, skip the quality control. So everything is really nice and rounded. I feel no sharp corners anywhere. Uh, there are no significant gaps anywhere between the liners. Maybe a little imperfection here, but there is nothing major in my opinion. Of course, I would like to have a liner hole here because just uh, it would help with the carry if you carry it on a uh, pouch and a belt. So overall, the the action is really smooth. You have no uh, half stop anywhere on this knife. It's really continuous smooth opening. Uh, there's definitely uh, no significant pull. So this should be probably on the scale uh, from one to 10, maybe around one tops two. So this is really, really smooth and definitely a pleasure to open and close every time. Unfortunately, uh, we do not have uh, currently a Markarta variant. I don't know what happened because uh, recently Brother uh, did release all his models uh, with uh, some kind of Makarta, mostly a green one and uh, carbon fiber and of course bone. But uh, this time they went only with the bone and uh, the CF. So if you are a uh, carbon fiber traditional knife collector then uh, this will appeal to you pricing is really good on them yeah what to say more uh, really beautiful knife uh, and I'm happy that I could share it here with you on my channel uh, so if you have any questions uh, please uh, leave comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can of course if you are a subscriber thank you very much a big thumbs up to you and if you're not a subscriber then please uh, consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. With that being said, I'd like to wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.